What is a corporate gift? How much budget should I set for a corporate gift? What should I take note when I'm going to make a corporate gift? Now in this video, I'm going to make a quick short video for you. That's what going to be what you call the top 10 commonly asked questions about corporate gift on Google and which I always encounter in my years of experience in the corporate gift industry. This video is going to be a crash course, it's going to be a dummies guide or it's going to be a quick all you need to know about corporate gift in this short video. See you. So, what do you call a corporate gift? Now, in previously in the OG or old school style, we used to call it dog gifts and sometimes we call it souvenirs. So because last time, if you come to an event, you receive a gift at the entrance, which is what I call a dog gift. And then sometimes, previously, they were used to call it souvenirs. So in the current trend, we used to call it corporate gifts, which is the current era that we are uh, dealing with now. So which means anything that you print for logo, when you give to somebody, it's called a corporate gift. And once we deal with customers, we do it external, we used to call it in the marketing terms. Marketing terms would then call it promotional gifts, we we'll then call it marketing collaterals. As for the Europeans, as for in a more uh, cool way, what the Europeans always say for corporate gift, they used to call it swags. S-W-A-G-S, swags. It's a cool name, they call it something that brand a company logo or a gift. And now, the millennials, they used to call it merched, which is also a long name for calling it merchandise. Merch, M-E-R-C-H, is usually what we call the young millennials. They will use to call something that brand it with their logo. So what name are you using? So, the second commonly asked question about corporate gift is, what is corporate gift? Now, a corporate gift is a product or it's an item that you brand your logo, you brand your message on the item. And it could be a wide spectrum of gifts from low range items such as pants to premium gifts such as tech gadgets or even a premium item, you know, like a gift set. Corporate gifts are usually to be given up for both external and internal. So for internals, usually for employees, for HR when you want to recognize and then of course engage with the employees and staff of the company. For external, they tend to give it for their stakeholders, the VIPs, the partners or the clients. So it's internal and external. The third commonly asked question would be, what is the purpose of a corporate gift? Now the purpose of a corporate gift is usually to give somebody to show your gratitude, to show your appreciation, and of course to exit or to get a positive response from the recipient. Now, as I've mentioned earlier, there is internal corporate gifts and external corporate gifts. Let's talk about the internal corporate gifts. Now, when you make internal corporate gifts, which is usually meant to be given to employees, we want them to be felt to be a part of the family, to be a part of the company. And we want to show them appreciation, show them gratitude for all the hard work that they've done for the company. Which means that when they take the item, they feel a sense of belonging and they know that the company recognizes their effort. Now, external corporate gifts are usually meant to be given out to clients for uh, VIPs, normal clients, and to even prospects as well. Now, the purpose of the external corporate gifts, usually it's meant to show our appreciation, care for the clients, to show that we are willing to take one step ahead from the rest of the providers to the clients. So you know why? When the clients need you, when the clients has a project that requires your services, they will remember you, which means you are at the top of their mind when it comes to finding and requiring your services. Our next question that I always encounter is, what kind of corporate gift should I give? Should I give this? Should I give that? No, first of all, it depends on who you're going to give out to and why you're going to give out this corporate gift to. Once you determine who you're going to give and why you want to give, then you're going to determine your deliverables, your budget, your quantity, and then your deadline. Once you've known all of these details, you can then use these facts and information and find the corporate gift that you need. Now, back to where I was. If it's an internal corporate gift, you're going to make sure that these items are useful to them, essential to them, and of course, functional. Because they're going to receive it from the company, you're going to use it on a day-to-day -day basis in a day of work. So if the thing is not functional, which is more of an aesthetic item, I don't think they will really find it appreciated because they will need the item to use it in the course of work and a day of life. When we talk about external corporate gifts, it's a different game. External corporate gifts where you give to your clients. 
Now, your clients are always receiving corporate gifts on a routine basis from different prospects, from different suppliers. So you have to give them something special. How special? You know it best. Trust me, you know it best. What you give, it represents who you are and what you are doing. So, you have to represent the cost of a business and the business that you are doing. For instance, if you are in the medical industry, you have to give something which is related to their medical, or such as a water bottle that is a thermal, and yet it allows them to put their fruits inside, which is a fruits infused bottle, etc. So internal corporate gift and external corporate gifts are two different things. Where can I find good corporate gifts or where can I find corporate gifts idea? Here or here? No. Now, there are a lot of ways to find corporate gift ideas, but fundamentally, the first way is find it through Google. You can always search and type in keywords, you can type in commonly asked questions, you can find things about your recipients on Google, and I'm sure that it will point you in some way to get new ideas. Now, the second way to find corporate gift ideas is to go through e commerce. There's Shopee, there's Lazada, there's so many e commerce providers. You can always find what's the trending items. You can always find what's the hot seller items on e commerce, and you, I'm sure you'll get ideas from there. The next way that I want to point out to you is social media. You've got Instagram, you've got TikTok, you've got so many social media outlets. I'm sure that when you browse through them using keywords, using hashtags, of course, they're definitely going to give you some good ideas as well. Now, another way is go through the retail way. You can always visit brick and mortar shops. You can always visit all these retail shops in the malls, in neighborhood areas, and then you can browse through, you can touch, and of course, you can feel the item. And you know, then you will know what are the trending items that's available on the streets. There's also another way. We call it the most physical, traditional way. You can go down to the streets, you can visit, uh, you can visit events, you can walk around, and then you will see what people are using, what people are giving. Then you will get a good idea of what are the good and trending corporate gifts idea. But again, the best way is to consult your corporate gift consultant. Like now, the next question is: What are the benefits and advantages of giving a corporate gift? Is there benefits? Is there advantages? Definitely, there is. Gift giving has been a traditional way and also the proven way. Now, the first key benefits and advantages is that builds, it brings you nearer to the recipients. There's always a sense of gratitude and appreciation from you and the recipient. The second thing is that it's a form of relationship building. Family give gifts, friends give gifts, and when you give gifts to a recipient in the form of a contact or an employee or a prospect, it brings you closer to the person receiving to the gift, which means that you're a deep impression and also you're on top of their mind when the need comes or when the problem arises. Now, next question is that, does corporate gifts work? Definitely it is. It has been one of the most traditional way and it's also the proven way until now. Now, based on studies shows that the ROI of gift giving has always been a good 50%. For instance, if you give $1,000 of corporate gift out, and I'm sure they will receive at least $10,000 worth of business from the gift giving. Corporate gift giving has worked because it's a form of relationship building. And when if you know somebody, it brings you closer. And if you don't know somebody, it's a part of a door opener. Know them better. And when it comes to discussion, when it comes to meeting, when it comes to negotiating, it brings you in a better sitting, in a better position when it comes to discussing the possibilities and of course, whatever you want to discuss. Now, this is my favorite question. How much should companies spend on corporate gifts? It's a very sensitive question. First of all, it depends on the budget that you're working with. Now, for instance, usually I recommend them, which is about 10 to 20% of the entire sales because promotional gift and corporate gift has known to get a very good, strong ROI. Now, if we break down into low range gifts, mid range gifts, and high range gifts, low range gifts are usually $1 to $10. And I'll recommend you to spend 25% of the budget on the low-range gift and the mid-range gift will be 50% of the budget which is spent on the mid-range gift which is usually range from $10 to $50 for the mid-range gifts. For the high-range gift, it's usually more than $50 and I'll advise you to spend 25% of your premium gifts which is usually for your VIPs and the stakeholders. You've got a low, you've got a mid and you've got a high. This is how you should allocate your budget and in terms of the budget, it determines who you're going to give out to, why you're going to give out to, and 
how much are you comfortable to spend? Now it moves now to the next question. Which budget does corporate gifts fall into? This is a very, very good question. This question, it depends on which department is going to handle it. Now if it's an internal gift, these are usually handled by the HR department or usually the administrative department. If it's for internal gifts, it falls within the cohesion budget, health and well-being budget. But in terms of the price of the items, it depends on what you want to make and who you're going to give up to. For employee gifts, I would usually recommend you to spend maybe five to fifteen dollars of internal gifts for them. Now, for the second part, which is what I call the external corporate gifts, is usually meant for customers. Which budget should you fall to? It's usually falls to the sales and marketing budget because you're going to give out to the customers and it's usually external out. How much budget is usually three tiers. The low tier, which is your prospects, which spends about two dollars per gift, and the mid tier is about ten dollars for your usual clients and for your premium clients it's usually something around $20 that you spend for them now this is the final question what is the best corporate gifts for whoever your recipient is going to receive the corporate gift let me break down into five sections for you for the guys usually I recommend you to give pack products because usually guys tend to like technology products such as power banks wireless charger Fit, uh, Fitbit watches or health watches, etc. Now, the second category that I want to highlight to you is for ladies. It would be good to give them lifestyle items, novelty items, because they are able to use this back at home and they can apply it and share it with their family members. Now, the next thing is that I want to show it to you is I want to highlight important parts. If this is a very general section, we call it on the go. Now, if you're going to give people that are on the go, such as employees, such as technicians, such as people that are always moving on their foot, make sure you give them on the go items such as bags, okay, and of course your drinkwares. This allows them to improve their productivity and enhance their lifestyle in their day to day go. Now, for customers, always make sure that you give them the best to represent the company, but otherwise, do make an extra effort to find out what's new what's hot and what's trend because don't forget they are always receiving gifts and I'm sure you want to impress them with your corporate gift. Yay! I've answered all the top 10 questions that is commonly asked on Google and I've always encountered in my years of experience as a corporate gift specialist. Now this is your turn. If you find this video useful, please share it with your friends and of course if you like my content, please subscribe. Even better, if you like this information and really subscribe, please comment below, okay? So at least I know that you're listening. All right, so till then, please subscribe, huh? okay? Bye!